When working on your package design, you're going to find a lot of cases where you're going to want to cut an object out of its background. There are ways to do that in Illustrator, but because we spent so much time on that in Photoshop, we're going to use Photoshop for that. So I've grabbed some cookies from the internet, so let's pretend I'm making a um, cookie package design. And I'm going to uh, double click on this background layer, see how it's locked. That will unlock it for me. And we learned lots of different methods for making selections in Photoshop. I'm just going to use the quick select tool uh, quickly here in Photoshop. And at this point, if I wanted to, I could do refine edges. Maybe you'll have an object that calls for refine edges. I'm going to go ahead and skip that step right now. But if it is something that your uh, design needs, please do use that. Instead, I'm going to go down here and go ahead and mask it right now from the Layers panel with that Mask button. And it's now cut out from its background. So to save it like this without a background, I have to choose a file format that supports transparency. So I'm going to go File and Save As. And I'll save this to my desktop, just called 2chocolatechipcookies.psd for right now. Uh, Photoshop document, PSD does support transparency, as does TIFF, T-I-F or T-I-F-F. I'm going to use a PNG, however. I like how clean those can look for us. So I'm going to go to PNG. And um, there's some options here that I'll leave alone and some options here that come up um, that I'll leave alone. Click OK, and it'll count down the saving right there. 94% um, saving. And uh, in the meantime, while it's saving, I'm going to go ahead and uh, minimize Photoshop and go over to Illustrator to work. When that file is done saving, it's going to show up over here in the corner. There it is on my desktop. I've made Illustrator slightly smaller um, so I can see my desktop. And I'm going to grab that PNG and drag it and drop it here into my template. Now, it comes in very big. This happens to be a very large file and it's better to be a little too big than a little too small. So let me zoom out and you can see that the background is gone. So I'm going to shrink that down and control zero or command zero to zoom myself back in. And I can go ahead and arrange this cookie in whatever format I want. Now, um, I have this big blue X on here right now. That tells me that this is a linked file. It's sitting on my desktop right now. And if I were to delete that file from my desktop, I would lose it. I would not, it would no longer be here in the Illustrator file. So uh, for us beginners especially, I want to go ahead and embed that. That does make the file size larger, but um, it is less confusing for beginners like us. So I'm, um, I now have it embedded. There's no blue X over top of it anymore. Um, and I can go ahead and work with it. So the next thing I might need to do is uh, clip it into a shape or clip it into the template itself. So the next thing we'll learn how to do in the next video is clipping masks.